Today, I will be talking about one of the biggest room mysteries of Area 51. No, it's not going to be about some killer or some item. It is about a room, a long lost room that has been removed for a long time called the Toxic Maze. Now, if you're new to Area 51, you don't know what the Toxic Maze is. It was an old room before the sewer expansion came out. It was like a massive update. And this room was, or it wasn't a room, it was a maze. And it had a couple rooms and a couple guns in it. And today I'm gonna show you what it looked like, what happened to it, and just everything, you know, before the sewer update practically. So we'll start off by opening this door and walking. And as you can see there, if you're a normal Area 51 player, you know there's a door here that goes to an elevator that goes down to the bunker slash sewer. And there isn't one here because this is before the sewer update. So we're gonna have to walk all the way down over here to the rake area. And there's no killers or anything because this is a old version. You got the vent and you'll see that there literally is no door here. There's no stairwell that leads to doors down into the sewer. It's nothing because that was what it looked like back then. And so we're gonna go down to the sewer by going down the secret entrance. So we're going to use the secret entrance because the prison is practically the same. Um, but so you can go down here and just go down these vents. And as you can see, um, you can climb this sewer ladder and that will lead you all the way up here. I have the execution room open. But as you can see, it's the normal area. You got your normal spot here with the normal hallway and you know, robot and everything. Uh, it's just that when you go down to the sewer, all the way down here, of course the ladder is different, you'll see it isn't open. It's actually like its own thing. It's, it has a, of course, moving fan. And so you guys will recognize this stairwell, but it had a massive block in the middle and that's where Captain Zombie would spawn. And so this is the old sewer. And of course the M16A2 would spawn here um, as well as like the blue box M16A2. So this is the old sewer, but the toxic maze is right here. So it's past these little bins and all of a sudden you'll see this little opening and all of a sudden you're in this maze. And this maze is mean. Um, it has a lot of dead ends. Like it's a big maze actually. It's not the biggest maze in the world obviously, but it definitely has its wrong turns. And I remember I had this thing memorized cause the op spawned, spawned down here. And of course here's the op. Um, I didn't get to it first try, but yeah, the op would, would have spawned here. Of course you got the little brick that looks a weird, little weird. But um, yeah, it was really interesting that the op would be down here. And of course, this room looks very similar too. You got these two little things. The op is actually with these two models as well. But this, the toxic maze did lead to the op gun back then. And you could actually get it, of course, back then. So I think we gotta go this way. Now, I'm not 100% sure about this maze because I'm not, this is like something I had memorized a long time ago, but not anymore failing miserably in all these turns, but um, I'll show you guys exactly how to get to it later. And as you can see, the M4A1 spawned up there and you actually have moving fans that will kill you. Um, I'll actually clone myself. Okay, so I have a clone here and we're going to push my clone into the fan. And fortunately he will die. Rest in peace to the clone. Uh, but yeah, these fans will kill and they did back then as well. So you'd have to do this obby and you could not jump. You just had to follow this line and this is terrifying. Um, and then this is probably the hardest gun to get back then. And you have to just do all of this just to get to your one gun called the M4A1. And now no offense to the M4A1, but it's not the best gun in this game. And it had one of the hardest things. Like this could be a ray gun. Like this is how insane this obby is. And we'll see, here we go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, the, the fans do kill, as you can see, as I join my clones. Now, how big is this maze? Well, let's go shift walk, and I'll show you guys what it looked like. And so if you zoom out, um, you can actually see that there's a lot of dead ends. There's a whole area of dead ends. I went over here, and I just went down all of these dead ends, and then I got here. Um, so there's two rooms, and um, as you can see, you can't really see. So that's the op room. And then this is the M4A1 room. You can actually kind of tell because of the black circles. So basically what you have to do is you have to turn right and then you'd have to turn right. 
So just keep going down at this end and then you get to the gun. This is back then uh, to get to the op. So this, the op was pretty easy to get to because it was just like a few turns. Like if you just went right twice, you were fine. But this one, the M4A1, I always found to be harder to find because sure, you can go left and then go straight, straight, and then right, 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 right. That would probably work. Or, or you go second. My The route I remember was I would go this way and then I'd get to uh, if I ever wanted it. Um, of course, I rarely went up to the M4A1. But where did this maze go? Isn't it such a cool addition to the game? I think it was awesome. But there were a few problems with this maze. And I think the biggest thing is that this maze was just too work intensive to get guns. You had to put a lot of effort just to get that M4A1 or that op and players would never go down here. Like, there's no point in going down here when you can get the ray gun, you know, and one obby, or you could get, you know, the Tails doll gun, G36C, and you would be fine. So this, basically, this area was out compete. Also, the M16A2 is right here. <laughs> so no one, everyone would just go down here to get that gun and not any of these guns. So that was like the biggest issue with the Toxic Maze is that it was just annoying to go through. Another issue was that killers like were never planned to go down here. Killers would never enter here. So this was just a safe spot, basically. Um, there were no threats in here. It would have been more fun maybe if the maze was bigger or like, you know, had a bigger size. That would have been awesome, but no. Um, so killers can go in there and it took a lot of effort for players to get in. And it just made for an area that really wasn't used that much. And that's the biggest downfall to this area. People remember this and they don't really know where it went, but the biggest reason of why it's gone is that the sewer expansion kicked it out, basically. The op moved and the M4A1 moved. The M4A1 actually moved to the granny area as well, and then the op, of course, moved to the newer area. So it was a lot different. I'm gonna show you guys kinda, of course, the new sewer and why it got outcompeted. Now, if you go down this sewer, you'll see that, oh wow, look how open it is. Of course, this fan doesn't work, but it's very open and it would work in the normal game. Uh, and how nice it is. And just overall, this like sewer was, it, the update, the expansion was perfect for this game, I think. Of course, you had the op here that moved here now. Of course, the same textured walls. So this is like probably the remains of the toxic sewer or the toxic maze. This texture right here was a thing, but uh, it was eventually removed. And of course you have other areas, of course the M16A2, that gun I've been talking about this entire time, is still here as well. Uh, as you can see, M16A2 was here. Of course these are blue box guns because this is an older version, but you can just see how much nicer this sewer was. There were more areas, you had more killers, you know, you had Captain Zombie, then you had Fish Face, and you had Smile Dog over there. And then, of course, this massive pit, which, of course, went to the bunker with the elevator I was talking about. And, of course, you have the ladder here that leads to the rake area. The sewer expansion changed this game, and it was probably the best, like, build update ever. It connected so many areas, and it made, like, the sewer go from just one room to this insane area where you can travel in. And I think that was probably the nicest thing about it. I, I'm sad to, see, you know, it's sad seeing rooms or, you know, the toxic maze getting removed, but I think the toxic maze served its purpose. And I think it was replaced with something much better. So that is where the toxic maze went. And it's probably the most secretive, like most shadowed room ever. Not many people know about it, but anyway, all of like the little oh, outcomes. Oh my god, Jeff! Go away. Shift lock out for you, got Jeff. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and like the video to show support. I hope to see you in the next one.